Welcome back to Bay Sunday. Our next guest is a violinist extraordinaire, a Grammy winner that has taken the jazz scene by storm. Born in Denmark, he now calls the Bay Area home. His latest work, Mads Tolling and his Mads Men, which features familiar tunes from TV shows of the 60s, Peter Gunn, Mission Impossible, even the Flintstones, for crying out loud. He's performed over a thousand times in the world's most prestigious concert halls, and he's been here before. Let's say hi once again to Mads Tolling. How are you? Pretty good, Frank. Good, good to see you. Good to yeah. have you on board. Absolutely. Well, just out of the gate, talk about your love affair for your violin or your fiddle. How, how did you fall in love with that as a kid? Well, to be honest, you know, I started playing very early at six years old. I started playing Suzuki Method, learning by ear a lot. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I, I practiced classical music. I was a good boy. I practiced my Mozart, Beethoven, and Haydn. But then at one point, I kind of got attracted to the dark side. <laughs> okay. Jazz, rock and roll, fiddle music, all that, all those other genres that you can play. Not as commonly used on a violin, but you can do it. And, mm -hmm. and that's really kind of what piqued my interest into, I want to be a professional musician. And when did you leave Europe and come here? I was 20 years old. 20 years old. Yeah, I went to Berklee College of Music in, in Boston. In Boston, sure, yeah. I know it well. Yeah, yeah, great school. So I was there for three years, got my bachelor, got my papers. And then I moved right out here. I joined a group called Turtle Island Quartet, which uh, is a wonderful string quartet. We won a couple of Grammys. Things were good, played with Stanley Clark, and now I'm kind of doing all these other groups that I, I started. And Sky's the Limit, what motivates you? What, what gets you up in the morning? Well, I think playing good music, you know, doing some tunes that people might know, but not the way we do it. You know, creating new versions right. of things that people thought, oh, that's a violin, that's going to sound that way. No, actually, it's a little different. Well, that's what's so neat about music. I mean, you can play a song, but every time it's a little bit different, right? Right. Different audience, different venue. You're probably in a different mood sometimes. Sometimes right. it's hard or fast. So every day is a little bit different, I bet, right? Absolutely. You always feed off your surroundings, your co-musicians. It's like a dialogue. And, and not just a dialogue between on stage, but also with the audience. Okay. Well, you're Yoshi's in Oakland a week from tonight on the 24th. And uh, you're Mads Men. Tell us about that. You were inspired. You grew up in Denmark, for crying out loud. Yeah. But you know a lot of the American 60s music and... Uh, right. And TV themes and movie themes. That's right. I mean, we watched the Flintstones, and I loved that show when I was a kid. Uh, Fred Flintstone, Yabba Dabba Doo, and all that stuff. We all said that, that in school. Me up. Yeah. I can't believe it. And so that was a big part of it, you know, and the good, bad, and the ugly, another six, 60s uh, chestnut, you know, that we, uh, I, I loved Clean Eastwood and, and watching those mm -hmm. movies. So, you know, I thought, you know, making this program, I wanted to make something that, that was special to me, meant something to me personally. Sure. Do you want, can you play a little something for us? Sure. Well, yeah. well uh, maybe some from the Mads Men? Absolutely. Yeah, this is a little uh, piece called Blackbird by the Beatles. Oh, so, know, know it well. Six, 60 Off stuff the White too. Album. Yeah. 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 Here we go. Yeah. Mads Tolley with a little, uh, little Blackbird. Exactly. Just awesome. And that's just a little tidbit of what people can get at Yoshi's. You're down exactly. in Santa Cruz uh, shortly after that. That's and then, right. then you're all over Europe, I guess, right? All over Europe. We're playing 36 shows in, in 36 different cities. It's going to be really kind of wild, you know, to drive around in Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Germany. Well, what's it like to play at home? Well, it it's, feels good, you know, because you grew up there. And now I'm bringing, you know, I was 20 years old. I was a little green when I left. And now I have a lot more experience. So I'm yeah. kind of bringing all that, you know, well, back you, home. Your family must be just beaming with pride. Are they all still back there as well? I have two little nieces now, yeah. five and two years old. So that's great. My parents are still around and, and doing really well, go rowing every morning. So, you know, it's really great to see everybody and, and then play music, which I love, the two things I love the most. And what's been the reaction to Mads Men? Because it's just, it's music we know you know right exactly yeah and that's really what people come away with saying 
wow, that's like walking down memory lane, you know, a little bit of nostalgia. But the interesting part is, of course, people who are 50, 60 years old, will, or 70 even, you know, will have a, a reaction to it. But even people who are 16, they oh, go yeah. like, it's oh, just, it's I just, just saw Mission Impossible last week, yeah. right? Or I saw, you know, the Pink Panther, I love that tune. Sure. So the, the, the point is, it's timeless music. You know, it's just really great songs, and they exist in any era to me. But we've chosen, you know, the 60s Madman era. Week from tonight, you're at Yoshi's, and what night are you in Santa Cruz? You're, uh... That's Thursday night, Kumbwa, on the 28th of January. All right. So that's a little further away. And right if now. you're in Europe, you're going to be all over there for a couple of months as that's well. That's right. All right, that's man. Right, Great to have Thanks you back. Thanks a lot. Yeah, really Awesome job. It. Yeah. Stay right there. And if, for all things Mad Tolling, uh, concert dates, the work, simply go to his website, madstolling.com. That's madstolling.com. Nice and easy. More Bass Sunny coming up right after the break, so stay right there, folks.